Uh, one thing I'll give credit for Rayman 2 over 3 is that there's more, like, hardcore platforming. Uh, Rayman 3 has a decent amount of it, but not enough. Oh, really? By the yeah. way, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, guess what, uh, um, Scrappy, I found Gourmet Waluigi. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I love Rayman 3. I can read this in the Galwaluigi voice. Oh no. <laughs> Hot, the cheese, my tongue, burning. Where? Oh crap. If my tongue was a stick, it'd be well done. Mm. <laughs> Best I can do. Yeah. But the pain is so sincere. <laughs> I am at one with these land. Mm. He sees me. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Why, I'm the roving gourmet, Waluigi! <laughs> he gives me free pizzas. <laughs> bon appetit! Uh. Sorry for that being so random. <laughs> uh. Utopia does things to people. Have you no 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 um Tomodachi life does things to people. Oh yeah. Oh hell the virtual boy. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. Yes. It's funny That's because a meme for a reason. It's funny because um a little bit before that uh that game was announced, uh Reggie went on record saying he didn't even know what the virtual boy was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thing? Whoa. Yeah. But, um. Yeah. Yeah, as much as I love Rayman 3, the, there are things that could have made it a lot better. Well, the game was on. Is the game. Well, the game's unfinished, right? I don't think uh. it's. I don't think it's necessarily unfinished, but there. But there was cut content, right? There was a few cut things. It's not. I would love to see a Rayman 3, a dedicated Rayman 3 Digino you know, Gaming. I don't know if there's a Rayman episode, but it's just a, the general series. But um, there was supposed to be a full on war world, but it was cut because they thought like it messed with the game's natural flow. And what was the uh, leftovers of the world was basically put in the last level of Land of the Living Dead, I believe. No, um, was it, I thought that wasn't. I thought that wasn't a longer shortcut. The war area. No, oh no, I'm, I'm thinking about this one uh, boss fight. No, 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 that's in Land of the Living Dead. The longer oh. shortcut. Longer shortcut is just a small section before the uh, oh, doctor. Oh, just a dock. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a platform. I thought you that was a, too late. I thought that was a platform though. Um, yeah. I mean, I I kind of wish, like, two things. I wish there were like more than anything else in Rayman 3 was would be a bit more a few more levels because um, the game's a bit a bit too short for my liking yeah and, and a bit more challenge would be nice because especially compared to like nearly more or less every other game in the series Rayman 3 is really easy I it's mean it's still fun it's yeah it's still fun and it has moments like it has moments where you kind of have to think more, but yeah, compared to these games and Rayman 2, um, it's not that hard at all. Like even even Rayman 2 isn't that difficult most of the time, with the exception of a few moments. Final boss. Yeah, and that's hard for the wrong reasons. And one thing I'll give the PS1 version credit for, they changed that boss completely, so you're just going... You're flying in a straight line and dodging his attacks. And rather than flying around this one room? Yeah. Uh, that, that boss was so hard. Yeah, it doesn't deserve to be. And then Razorbeard goes in uh, a random circus with this big fat guy. <laughs> a land back. We gotta find a car. <laughs> What was up with that Rayman cartoon? I don't, I don't know, but it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, I've oh crap. Whole, I've never seen that episode in my life. 
Uh, oh, we have something to show you later. Uh, I can't be bored to watch it again, Jason, so I so show it to him when I'm not here. Oh gosh. It's, 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 it, it, honestly, it's just about as entertaining as most you would find the Mario movie. It's, um, oh, don't even. Don't I know, yeah, I know, but I'm just it's, saying, I'm it's, most um, fine to say. It's pretty amusingly bad, but so, after a certain point, it's just kind it of. It gets been, kind of boring. It's kind of been there, done that. And there's, besides Rayman and Razorbeard, there's no uh, recognizable characters. Some of the voices are recognizable. Billy West voice Rayman. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, I, there was no one other than Rayman and Razorbeard. Wait, uh, Razorbeard was was he even in the games at that point? I think I, probably. I, pro he have to be. I mean, they're using the Rayman 2 Rayman design. But um, that's a that's a good thing. Can someone look up when it was released or aired? Um, you want to describe your try? Ah, you're on it. Alright. He's already beat me to it. Uh, I'm too slow. I mean, if it kept going, they probably would have added, like, characters like Glowbox and Lee, that. and maybe Lee or something, but... Lee yeah. the Fair! Lee the Fair! Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> cartoon debuted December 20th, 1999, so Rayman 2 was already out. Right. What, 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 what channels did it air on, even? Um... Well, it never aired on TV in North America. It came out. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see. It came out in France, Germany, and the Netherlands on this channel called. Uh, again, how do you pronounce it? Gulli? G U L L I? Ha. Huh. Never heard of it. Um, so pronounced... weird how they got like Billy West and all that then. <laughs> I think it's pronounced Geely. Mm. The girl had a voice that's familiar. Okay, can you look at the cast quickly? It's everyone who did voice acting in cartoons back then. Billy West, Carlos Alas Alasraki, Carolyn Lawrence, and Danny Mann. Mm. Wait. Danny yeah, Mann, I'm trying to recognize this. Wait, you, you, wait, there's a name you recognize? Yeah, I know his name. I mean, I know, I know what he does, but... I know Billy West best as Fry from Futurama. Yeah. Danny Man, something that he does in particular. But at, at points, I swear I can hear it. Ah, uh, yes, he voices, um. Danny Man voices Thanatos and Kid Icarus Uprising. Really? Yes. Huh. <laughs> nice. Nice. And voiced Ebenezer Von Clutch in Crash Tag Team Racing. Oh! Huh. Uh, who's that? <laughs> the mechanical dude with the. Who owns the park where the races are? Oh, okay. I thought it was the female character. Mini Zomba Cheeks, my Jelly Park mascot. <laughs> I played all your games. My whatever he says, tingle with joy. My inner tingle with joy. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, tingle all you want. Oh, I have a bl <laughs> world domination. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we did it. Nice. Uh, yeah, here, I think you overachieved a bit. Uh, I knew by you know, it. You I know why we missed it. it? You know why we missed it? Billy Zomba Cheeks. Uh. Well, what else has he done, if anything, if there's anything notable? Uh, let's see, he's done a lot of additional voices. Let's see. Did various Transformers characters. Like, whoa, a okay. who? Freeway, Cloud Raker, and Lightspeed, you know, the iconic ones. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see, um. He voiced Surge, whoever that is in open season. Surge, Surge, Surge. I've seen that movie. Doesn't ring a bell. Uh, yeah, Surge is the duck, I believe. Oh. Yeah. Right. This is a nice looking level. Nice guys are always nice. Is the oh, one with yeah. the Did You Do Dragon? 
I believe, yeah. I'm kind of mixed on these levels. Like, it's a cool idea, but it's kind of slow. Not terrible, but, you know. It basically... These kind of levels hold, hold this back from being a favorite world, in my opinion. Because of the pacing? Yeah. Like, the other worlds are more consistent. Um, are you still looking up, are you still looking up the guy, or should I, uh, cause I was gonna ask, what else has Billy West done? Cause I've, I know he's done other stuff, so I'm familiar uh, who, with. Who was Murphy in Raymond Frey? Uh, I believe that was Billy West. Right. Yeah, I thought it was, but I was wanting to make sure. I've been talking about Danny Mann, though. Hmm. Um, that reminds me. Um, Globox in Rayman 3 is John Legazamo, who I know, who is Luigi in the Mario movie. Uh-huh. John Lego Mayego. <laughs> what? It's just Harry that's... being Harry. No, that's <laughs> a, no, that's uh what Nitro Rad called him. <laughs> oh well. Um, let's see. What you wanna know more about Billy West credits? Yes, please. Well, um he does everything. <laughs> Basically. So what we so we're doing another Troy Baker here. Yep. He, he was Troy Baker before Troy Baker. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, this should be good. Well, alright, what do we got? He does it, everything I tell you. He's voiced Ren and Stimpy at one point. Huh. He's current voice of Elmer Fudd. He's also filled in for Bugs Bunny at times. Okay. He's Doug from Nickelodeon Doug. Mm. Doug himself? Yes. Huh. He voiced Shaggy and Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. Oh, oh that was a good one. Hmm. He voiced George Jetson in some uh, George Jetson in some commercials. He voiced Pidge in a 3D Voltron from the late 90s. Uh, I don't know anything Voltron related. Can you never? Ow. <laughs> I thought I could hit him when I was going up like that. He voiced Woody Woodpecker in the 1990s show. He voices Zim, Invader Zim, in the pilot of Invader Zim. Oh. 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 He has voiced Felix the Cat at one point. To... What does the G stand for? I don't know. <laughs> the voice of Zim now is the same guy who's Billy on uh, Billy and Mandy, right? Yes. He apparently did Tom sound effects and Tom and Jerry meet Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> this guy really weird and crazy with the Tom and Jerry spent in movies. We got to have money. <laughs> uh, voices Rocket Raccoon. Voiced Rocket Raccoon in Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, hmm. Voice Bashful in the 70s. Huh? He voiced, um, what's his name? Like, Bashful the Dwarf in the 70s. It was a Disney cartoon I aired a few years back. Or are you gonna say he was him in, a, like, Birth by Sleep? Tuh. No, no, 70s is a very different take on them. Okay. Let's see. Ah, uh, dang it. Like, Kingdom Hearts has a de designated act. Like, Disney generally has designated actors for the dwarf, but the ones in the 70s aren't them. Mm. Okay. Ah uh, yes, current voice of the Red M&M, <laughs> and Buzz the, Chunny, uh, Buzz the Honey Nut Cheerios B until 2004. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, oh I can hear, yeah I can hear it now actually. He voiced, he voiced Popeye the Sailor at one point. Before he was voiced by Robin Williams in the live action movie. Dang it. No, this is after, like way after. Uh, uh, the voice Slimer and Extreme Ghostbusters. Extreme! It was extreme. Big Rigs! <laughs> I don't 
to be just voices everyone. Um, let's see. He even voices you and me. Oh no. Return the fry. Alright. No. Uh, I forgot, I lost where you were. I was off screen. <laughs> but, um. Like, Wikipedia only has his TV and movie credits. They don't um, I think you, you, I use TV tropes usually, because that also oh. usually gets me video game credits. Oh, by the way, I like how, like, the, uh, when you collect lums, it's basically like an altered version of the gem sound collection in from Rayman Frey. Mm. Coincidence? Uh. Oh, I gotta go with my dad in hand. Alright. Bye, Dad! I do, uh, what game, uh, are there any, like, Rayman games you're interested, interested to complete? Rayman 3. <laughs> What, what ones have you haven't that you haven't played? Would you like to play? There, are, there aren't many others, but oh yeah, I played Rayman Arena. I told you that like. A month oh ago. right, right. Yeah, Rayman, Rayman Arena or uh, Rayman M is a really good game. Actually, um. I don't think we have. I don't think pow, uh, Europe, Europe ever got Rayman Arena. Uh... Game I, suppose I, should, I suppose I should give Rayman one a try at some point. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe I'll get back to Rayman 2 eventually. Oh my goodness! I'm back! <laughs> Yay. Yeah, uh... What Rayman games have you, haven't you played, Jason? Because I know you played nearly all of them. Guys? Hi? Sorry. Were you still talking about Bill Blue West? No, no, uh, we were talking about, like, uh, oh, yeah. Rayman games, uh, we haven't played but, like, would like to. Games you played but, but uh, haven't played would like to? Yeah. Uh, are there any. What Rayman games haven't you played? Because I. Me? You, yeah, because I know you played most of them. I haven't played one. I haven't. Played, um, well, I played, I only played the first Rabbids game. I'm getting the new, I, you know? Yeah. Um, since the Rabbids now at this point are more of their own thing, I, 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 since, I, I was gonna say, because I'm getting a Mario Rabbids thing soon. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't count Mario and Rabbids as a Rayman thing. But, Unless uh, Rayman has a cameo. <laughs> I know, I, yeah. no, it's not really a Rayman game still, but. Yeah. Yeah, um, like at most I'd say Rayman, Raven Rabbids 1, 2, and TV Party are technically Rayman games. I actually really like Raven Rabbids 1. It's a good use of the, uh, the Wii's, like, it's, abilities. It's a one, it's a game where you kind of go, uh, sit through once. It's, uh, it's a decent enough time, but you don't really have much reason to play it again. There is, like, a score attack mode and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, Ra Rabbids 2... Oh crap, I was... No. What are you saying? Um, Rabbids 2 I, I like as well. Those two games I enjoy enough. Um, I never bought TV Party though. I might get it now because the Sting or the Rabbids Sting is not really there anymore. But oh, yeah, wow. back, back, back then um, I was like, okay, two mini game collections is fine. Then another one. Okay, can we please have a platformer again? <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, those games are You were just getting tired- you were just getting tired of the rabbits. Yeah, I bought Rabbids Go Home because it was, like, at the time as close- close as we were gonna get. How was that? Rabbids Go Home is a pretty good game. Um, I'd say only play one or two levels a session, though, because otherwise it's gonna get very repetitive and boring. Because it's- the game drop? Like, is, is the game long? Uh, not necessarily- well, it has- it is pretty lengthy, but it's just the fact that it's the same kind of I eat like stuff every every level with sometimes a unique twist, but most of the time it's just collect everything in sight. But what do you do? Just basically 
what, what I said. Like, they're trying okay. to get enough, like, stuff from the humans to go to the moon or whatever. Which is, Okay, like, supposedly the, the, the particular home. And, ba basically, uh, the, uh, the opening is just, like, they're sleeping on these light things. Um, and then one of them is just like, Oh, the moon's shiny, I wanna go there. And then the whole game is just based on that. They just wanna go to the moon because it's shiny. Aren't you like just playing as like two rabbits in a shopping cart? Yep. And you can uh, change them. Just like in. Uh, the. Car Rabbit Creator tool is a lot more complex than the ones in the minigame collections. I cannot make this jump. Are you just. Are you, are you just going to. Are you just hanging it a little too hard or something? Uh, I'm tap jumping. Maybe you're going a little too early. No, take my hand. Yeah, it doesn't help that I'm explaining that other stuff. So you, you guys, have a topic go on while I do this. Okay. Um. Let's see. I have food. <laughs> my dad was kind of to go out to get Arby's. Dang it. Not usually this okay. I'm not usually this rough. bad. Mm. You ever had a game where you just stuck in like one loop forever? If you will. Um, like yeah, you just Vortex, can't progress. Water crunch. What? Yeah, yeah, water crunch. Um as a kid there are a few a few instances of that. Um not so much nowadays though. But, I'm taking yeah. Fortress of Wind Waker my first time. Yeah. Oh, jeez, no. Almost. You just... This music's pretty good. But yeah. I mean, like, you're, this is that point where it's like, you just, you just, you just... It's like the one more try moment. You just keep going and going and going. I think at one point, Denix was that for me in Kingdom Hearts 2. Mm. Oh, if we're talking about Kingdom Hearts, um, because of my me being stupid about playing the game, um, Terranor gave me a long, a hard time. <laughs> right, in, in broke my sleep. Yeah. Luckily, you got on your first try. I am the freaking let's play. Yeah, it helps. I I knew his attacks at least, and uh, right. I actually had a competent deck. A gem is <laughs> bigger than a gem is bigger than the whole chest. It's... Uh, man, you're getting brain scratch Lewis kinds of levels hey, of like. If, if we're talking, if we're gonna talk about something being bigger than what it actually seems, Hell, Hellfire Peaks is just a box. Right. <laughs> like seriously, it's the whole world is just put in this square temple thing that's like 50 times larger than what it looks like. Good point. <laughs> What about the gates to Crunchy Industries? Uh, oh no, that's a gate, what am I thinking? <laughs> hey, duh. The only thing I can think of is that Hellfire Peaks makes you go underground or something, I don't know. That's the only way I can make you, you come up from it, you come up there, so. That's true. I don't know. Because it's, gonna, it's connected But then again, to... you also have to think about how, like, there's that one water tube at least, right, to where you can get the Mega Globo. Yeah, and like all the uh, areas that connect to other worlds, like I don't know. Mm. I like roast beef sandwiches. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, it's gonna get worse for you then when we get the next world. Oh, you think I'm gonna be here? I think we're yeah. only, I think we're still gonna get lums. I mean, uh, I like tunes. Let's do high enough for the battle. Yeah. Yay! Just enough. Yeah, hey, you have just enough to get the luck Yep. Yeah, I'm too used to saying teensies because like every game you save those guys. Mm -hmm. It's just this game and Rayman One you get luck tunes.
Rayman 2, you don't even like. Oh no, Rayman 2 is just the long ones. Uh, well, there, you've saved teensies, but it doesn't. There's no counter. There's just random teensies in certain cages sometimes. Oh right, do you, I think it's usually the end one, the last one. Yeah, they just do that random end of level jig, and then you just teleport. Ha, hey, ha, hey, ha, hey, ha. Yeah, I like how. I always remember. I always remember Rayman doing that. Yeah, I like how Rayman sounds like that. He has hiccups in that game. Like especially when, especially in that one chair level where you're on a path, and or just on some like floating chair. Like every time you turn. Oh, the round chair. Yeah, every time you move, he goes like. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> I forgot about that. But yeah, this game has really good pacing. We're already through nearly two worlds now. And I Paul's gone for two and a half hours. I mean, again, the thing is, some of that was just doing, um, everything with, like, um, like just watching Star Wars. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Yeah. Oh, well, can I just say one thing that's always weird about this game and Legends is how the title screen just comes in. Yeah. When you see, like, presented by Ubisoft, you accept, expect, like, an intro or something? Yeah, just because the, 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 the dramatic, like, fade in, fade out. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. Dang it. Yeah, that was too slow. Your Sonic's taunt! Yay, boy. I'm eating curly fries. Ay, 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 okay. I may have to actually drop out after this to hmm? get ready for... I may actually drop out after this to get ready for my... get ready for college. Oh. Yeah, coming back, mm. come to that time. Uh, yeah, just a uh, reference for when we're recording this. Um, it's near the end of uh, summer break. Right. I'm um, late on, I guess, right now. Yeah, some people were uh, already finished. Yeah, if you live in DC, it already finished. Mm. Mm. My birthday's coming up. Pretty soon, actually. I Hope don't... you like nothing. September uh, 2nd my birthday, so... Mm. I have these. I'll send you Hotel Mario, and it'll be great. Wait, was it, wait, is it this or the second one that's shooting me softly? Uh... What, what do you think, what do you mean, like... Well, the little name is called Shoot Me Softly for the fire. Um... Um... I... Hmm... But I don't... I don't remember. I think it's the second one? I will give Rayman 2, but hey, Rayman Legends also a bit more credit for, like, having level names that may aim that are more to stay in distinct. Hmm... Yeah. Also has those portraits. Yeah, uh, I do like how Rayman Origins is, like, sticks with the specific theme. Like, Rayman Legends kinda does, but goes a bit more wacky with it. Um, keeps the same kind of, like, trope of the first level, usually. Yeah. Which is fine. Uh, and then just does whatever, just does whatever it wants with it. Yeah. Like, the mansion of the deep comes to mind. Yeah. I mean, it, it depends. Like, do you want do you want something where you know what you're gonna get, get yourself into, or do you want to have something unique with every level? I do like these transition stages. Oh yeah, definitely. And we're going coming up to my favorite Gorm world. Gorman Land, right? Gorman Land, yeah. Coming up to my oh, favorite God. my favorite world. Yeah, ice yeah, physics. Yeah. Sort of. There's some. There's some ice physics. Yeah, yeah, there's like, there's some ice physics. It's not too bad though. 
But it's our Hellfire Peak too, actually. Although I'm probably the most, uh, ah. um, what was it, the most gener generous person when it comes to like, uh, being okay with ice physics, because a lot of people seem to hate it. I don't really mind them half the time. I, I'm in the hundred just left this cage here. Yeah. 308, so good for me. What'd he get? What'd he get? <laughs> so, what did all these lums just uh, die or something? Because Rayman 2, there's only a thousand lums. <laughs> um, I don't know, they made moves. The only explanation, the only well, things. The, no, well, the llamas are the sources of the heart of the world. The only, two things I can say: um, either um, the a thousand llamas are part of a different area of the Glade of Dreams, and these are just like other llamas that aren't really as important, um, or a bunch of llamas just form together to have like like one llam be the equivalent to like a thousand or a hundred I don't know well like I said the, well the, the thing is when the um in Rayman 2 when it was broken in the the uh the heart of the world was broken up into the thousand lums yeah so it's prob they're probably just different lums altogether that's it yeah like were they called yellow lums in, in 2 I think Cause I, I think uh, Rayman One and um, I guess by extension Origins, um, the these two games are based on like specific islands, and Rayman Two and Three are based on one like uh, specific island, which I guess explains why uh, Rayman One and this game have such like wacky areas compared to Two and Three. Oh, Rayman. Uh, I messed up. Um, I've been to, I've been to, I've been to be a cage here in Rayman, in Rayman Legends. Yeah. <laughs> I love those faces. <laughs> okay. <laughs>